Well, the plant's a very intricate piece of kit. Uh, it was designed based on obviously the price of landfill tax going up and up and up. We obviously needed to look at the ways of what we can do with general waste. Uh, the first uh, initial thoughts were can we make waste into a product? We came across the company called Unthe, a family business from Austria. Uh, we looked at their technologies, looked at the equipment, the two shredders they got on offer at the time were, looked like they could do the job we were looking for. So we put them in. We had the XR shredder, which shreds the waste down to 150 mil. This is an Unter pre-shredder. The object of this machine is to prepare the material so that we get a reasonably homogeneous size so that the rest of the kit can do its job. The XR pre-shredder is an excellent piece of machinery. We heard good reports about it within the industry, but again, when we saw it in the in the flesh as it were, it, uh, it, it is a, an impressive piece of kit. The waste then goes into the TR shredder which has got the 30mm uh, shred in it. That shreds all the material down to 30mm, completely metal free, which gives us an excellent product to, uh, to move on and sell into the cement industry. And it has done its job, it's uh, fantastic. Our main interest is in the back end fine shredding. Um, very, very, very impressed indeed. I think the access to the machine, the ergonomics, the shape of the machine, um, the fact that it's a single, uh, you know, a single drive, um, the shear belts on the doors, uh, the quick turnover of the actual blades, you know, it all puts together, you know, a machine that you would have some confidence that it would give you as the maximum number of operational hours, uh, minimum downtime, downtime, and a good quality throughput uh, and quality output of, of machine. So this system allows uh, Rod or anyone else who's got our our equipment to do a full cutter change. That's your mains and your statics in around about two hours time. Rather than having to wait for a Saturday to do a cutter change, they're able to do it at the end of a shift. Availability has been excellent with the machine. The first shredder, it's the first shredder we've had with a different diamond cut blades in it, which really does get through the ways that the TR shredder we haven't had any problems with at all. And it's the first time we've actually had both shredders connected together electronically where if there is any issue whatsoever, we can dial in straight into Austria, who can, who can then tell us where the problem is, what to look for, and exactly how to change it. What we're looking for is to give you a plant that, yeah, we know we're gonna have stops, but we wanna make those stops as small as possible. We look at not just the capital cost, but obviously the whole life cost of something like that, and the ability to maintain the equipment and maximise the throughput of, of, of materials. It's, it's sort of matched uh, the, the words that have been spoken previously about it, but it's good to see it actually on site working. When you're pricing waste and you're dealing in the waste industry, everything's about throughput. Any waste man will tell you it's all about throughput. Uh, with this machine, we get an excellent throughput. Uh, there's no doubt about it, it's, it's, as, it's as the best as we've seen on the market. In the UK there's a real need to find alternative uh, energy sources uh, and also try and promote sustainable development and, and diversion from landfill so it's really promising to see companies like Unther providing the tools and the kit and the machinery that uh, will facilitate that step change between landfill through to providing a, a useful energy feedstock. In terms of a zero waste you know, approach we just have to get that into a manageable, clear um, and consistent fuel and we think that the Unther equipment uh, may well form part of that. It's high quality. It's clearly designed for, um, you know, efficient processes and consistency of application. We look at this plant as not treating waste, but more manufacturing fuel. With the with the aid of the excellent um, shredding machinery and the other technology, uh, we think we're well placed in the marketplace as a fuel manufacturer. Uh, with Unther, we found there was an excellent backup service. There's a backup service in the UK which we thought was excellent. The actual, the, the company in general and the family business, we're a family business, we found them excellent to deal with and, and on that, that side that was the main focus really why we bought the shredders. It's been really fantastic being here at this um, UNTA Open Day. It's really interesting as a journalist to see an SRF production plant in operation. Um, in the UK there aren't that many of them, there's a handful of RDF plants, um, but it's, you know, it's something that's really important to our future, not just from our 
point of view of dealing with our waste, but from our um, energy needs as well. So here at Browns in, in Stoke on Trent, it's fantastic to see a fully operational plant that is actually um, doing the job it's supposed to do.